metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. My impatient friend, accuracy is most crucial in this process, as is being cautious. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful with these things, Wally, please. They can very easily. <laughs> <laughs> Go off by themselves. What? What have we done? Please say you can invent more fireworks. Well, first, this was not remotely my fault. And then second, where can I find more firework ingredients? We're flying through space! This is bad. Although... Yeah. Hey, 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 yeah! What's happening? It's fireworks time, isn't it? Just give me a few moments here, my lovely birthday girl. There's a little question I'd like to ask everybody first. Here it comes. What do you know about the life cycle of a star? Uh, what do you mean, a star's life cycle? Stars just shine forever, right? <laughs> no siree. Just like everything else, stars come into the universe, they live, and they die. The process just takes much longer with stars. Very much longer, in fact. It takes billions of years. A new star is created in a cloud of dust and gas called a nebula and consists mostly of hydrogen and helium atoms. When the dust and gas become heated through compression, if the mass of the cloud is dense enough, the temperature during the compression as well as pressure becomes so high that the atomic nuclei start joining and thermonuclear reactions take place. An enormous amount of energy is generated and the compressed gas clouds start shining, turning into a star. Are you saying there was a time our sun was a cloud like that? Like every star was, yes. But then with time, it transformed quite a lot, growing into the sun, with which we're familiar. Thousands of years later, planets gradually formed around the sun. And one of these orbs eventually developed life. We're that life. While I love party-killing science lectures as much as the next girl, I was promised fireworks. Yeah, Rosa. <laughs> but still, gee, this is interesting. And can you tell us the age of our sun? Uh, we can roughly estimate that it's in the vicinity of 4.5 billion years old. Oh. Oh. It's been around a while. <laughs> Certainly it's mature, not a little baby anymore. Once a star has been formed, nuclear fusion occurs constantly in its core using up hydrogen and releasing immense energy, 
enough to push against the force of gravity and keep the star in balance for billions of years. But this process is not infinite. Eventually, the hydrogen will be depleted and the star will either collapse or explode. Goodness, are you trying to tell us that our very own sun is going to, I mean, well, uh, you know, come to an end? What? Our sun will die? No more parties or fireworks? Uh, hold me! Oh, uh, save the planet! Save the whales! Hey. It's a madhouse! A madhouse! <laughs> there is no need for any of us to hold panic! <laughs> the life cycle of our beloved sun will not end soon at all. I'd say we have about five billion huh? years before that. <laughs> I'm beginning to think nothing's going to blow up here. Are you telling me my birthday isn't worth fire in the sky? Have patience, our dear porcine guest of honor. Something far better than fireworks is on the way. Yeah, <laughs> lots better, yeah. <clears throat> it is, right? Precious friends, we have quite an enchanting opportunity to witness the end of the life cycle of one of the largest stars in our galaxy. May I present Betelgeuse? Betelgeuse is one of the largest known stars and is one of the brightest stars in the constellation of Orion. Betelgeuse is 700 times bigger than our sun and approximately 100,000 times brighter. As is the case with all giant stars, Betelgeuse burns its hydrogen faster than smaller stars. It is believed to be in a late stage of stellar evolution and is expected to explode as a supernova within the next million years. And what happens to stars when they get uh, to the end of their cycle? Hey, I know! They fall right out of the sky! If you see one falling, you can wish on it and stuff! They're not as pretty as fireworks are. <laughs> You're wrong there. The final act in the life of a star is an awesome spectacle, better than the best fireworks display ever. We've come to the stellar neighborhood of Betelgeuse to view this breathtaking cosmic wonder. Should we get closer? I can't see it. Just a bunch of regular old stars. So what? If we move closer to the star, is the ship going to melt or something? I'm melting. This vessel is capable of withstanding ridiculously high temperatures. There is no need to move closer, trust me. From this position, everyone will see everything clearly. You can start the show now. Preferably while it's still my birthday. Um... Uh, uh, well, frankly speaking, it should have already started, according to all my calculations. I don't understand it. Uh, sorry, let me just calculate all of it again. Stop, sheep. You know how to drive the silly space boat, right? Let's fly a little closer to this star action. But, uh, didn't Daco say we could see it all from right here? Well, Daco said a lot of stuff. He told us this thing was supposed to start hours ago. What if the show has started, but we're just too far away to see it? Sweet Wally, you're always so kind to me. Won't you give me this? For my birthday? Come on, fly closer! Oh, this is awesome! It's my birthday! Yeah! It is better than fireworks! Well, it is crazy warm, all right, but from here we will totally see everything! Turns out I just forgot to carry the one, silly me! And now I can say with absolute confidence, the spectacle will indeed be starting quite soon! Ah, uh, um, why are we right next to the star? Much nicer view, right? I just thought we'd be able to see everything so much better from here. You just don't understand a star's life! At the end of the life of a star, the close of its life cycle is an intense explosion! Oh, 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 oh. 
10 seconds from now, Beetlejuice will increase its volume a thousand times. When there is no hydrogen left in the center of the star, fusion stops and the star begins its collapse. This leads to intense pressure and heat, which in turn will lead to an explosion. Exploding stars become much bigger and brighter for a time. Sometimes the explosion of a star is the only time it is visible to us here on Earth. Exploding stars are called supernova. Betelgeuse may become a supernova sometime soon, although nobody can say exactly when it will happen. It's more likely that the flash of that supernova will be seen by a future generation. Perhaps they will see a second sun in the sky. for this stuff, dumb star. That's just great. I was way too scared to even look at the explosion. <laughs> All I wanted were some dumb fireworks for my birthday! <laughs> look at that. Of course. So, Beetlejuice has grown so much, it's nearer the Earth. In fact, it seems it's shining bright enough now, it's able to give our sun a little friendly competition. Isn't it just beautiful? It's the best birthday in the history of forever. Forget silly old fireworks. I got 